first thing that you're going to do is open iTunes. As I've mentioned, iTunes is a free program even for a PC. So notice I have iTunes open. Now I'm going to plug my iPad into the USB port and in just a moment you see over here under devices you have library, store, and devices. It recognizes that there is an iPad. The first screen that you should see is this screen that says register later or continue. And so in this case I'm going to continue. You have to agree to all of this but here's the bottom line. As you come through this is where you're going to register. In my case, we'll take my email out and you need to set up your registration account. All you need to do at this point is continue to follow these screens and you'll be all set. Now let me show you the opening screen once you have filled in the registration form and have completed the initializing process. Under devices, in this case, I'm going to be using my iPhone, but the iPad screen will look the same. Under devices, I'm going to check or click on Larry Edison. Here's the screen. It's a summary screen. This will say iPad. It'll be a name. They'll check for your version. The important screen is info. So click this info and what you'll want to do is check these. If you want to sync with Outlook, for example, you'll click this. Sync with a calendar, click this. Come on down and select all that you want. You can come over here and select apps, music, whatever. Most of you won't have any of this. But syncing these particular items is pretty crucial. You can even sync bookmarks if you use Safari on your PC. So this is how you get your items from your computer to your iPad. Mm -hmm.